getting out of here. I've heard that all my life. I was raised in a home of old hard shell Baptist. I've heard that all my life. And I got up to walk out. Next thing I know, I'm down at the front of the church giving my heart to God, my life to God. Never felt anything more real in all my life. Three days later, I was back in jail. Amen. I, I thought that uh, we hung out at Gene's Drive-In, one of the hell holes there in Lubbock, and uh, I thought that uh, I was going to go out there and convert all of my old buddies. The drive-in out, out there, Robert Hampton starts a fight as he usually did, and I got out of the car and I was the first one the police put a handcuff on. I got hit inside the head in, in my little white, uh, I mean my little uh, uh, cherry red leather cap fell off and I reached to get it and a handcuff came on me. Amen. I figured right then that you know, this is not what that I want. But I concluded that by faith, Galatians the third chapter in the second verse, that's only what I learn of you, receive you the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. How did you receive the Spirit of God? By the works of the law? Uh, amen. That they wanted to fill me with the Holy Ghost. And I'm saying that with all respect. Because when I was a child, I acted like a child. But whenever I became a man, I put away childish things. They, they it would get us in the side room and they would shake us, and, uh, and one would say, you're getting it, and the other would say, you got it, and they would spit all over you, and I mean, wallow you around there for a long, long time. Amen. What, how did you get the Holy Ghost? By the hearing? By works of the law? Or by the hearing of faith? Yes. You know, whenever you receive the Holy Ghost, it's when you believe. When you accepted it by faith. Glory to God. Doesn't make any difference how that you felt on the outside, whether you were jumping up and down, rolling up and down the aisle. When you believe, God gave you his spirit. Amen. 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 Now, if I act on that belief, then I can walk in the spirit. Not walk in the flesh, but I can walk in the spirit. Yes. You're of the world, but you're not. Are you in the world, but you're not of the world? As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of, and the daughters of God. You used to wonder about that old uh, saying that we preached for so many years. You, you, you got to pray through. And that's what you've got to do. You got to pray through the doubt and the unbelief. Uh, you got to pray through, glory to God, till you get to the point uh, of I understand what God's Word says. Yes. Hallelujah. Because the churches are not the same today they were 50 years ago or 60 years ago. You won't find them. They're not there. You don't have all night prayer meetings. You don't have revival meetings that run four, five, six, eight weeks that we used to have. You don't have people coming and filling the pews. Why? Because they don't believe. Amen? They don't believe. Let, all right, let me uh, and, and finish here. The, the uh, 20th, uh, the, uh, 12th chapter, uh, 12th verse, start with 11. But no man is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident for the just shall live by faith. Faith is believing with understanding. Faith is believing with understanding. If I can walk out of this church this morning knowing that God is in me. The fullness of God is in me. I don't have to wait till some evangelist come and lay his hands on me. I don't have to lay uh, and wait till somebody comes to prophesy on me. All I've got to do is believe what the word says. That, that believe in he has filled me with the fullness. Amen. Now, how can I bring that well of living water that is inside me, how can I bring it to the surface? How, how can I drink to the waters of the well? By faith. But Wayne, you don't know what I'm facing. He does. 
You don't know what I'm going through. He does. Yes. Glory to God. You, you don't know how a uh, uh, terrible life has treated me. You don't know how bad I've had it. He does. Glory to God. Amen. And he said, peace be still. Paul said, God, I prayed to you and I prayed to you three times and hadn't made any changes. And God said, Paul, don't worry about it. My grace is sufficient. I'm going to bring you through. Why? Because, see, we, we are coming to the place to where we're going to experience the new heaven and the new earth. Glory to God. But that no man is justified by the law and the sight of God is evident. For the just shall live by faith. I'm not just because of me. I'm just, that means acceptable, because of him. Amen? I, I, I mean, if I had to stand before him in Wayne Montgomery, I'd be condemned thrown in the furthest pits of the parts of hell. But I am made just to accept in the propitiation for my sin. He, he gave me a gift. And it's not a gift that I've worked for. If I worked for, and it wouldn't be a gift. It would be something I deserve. But because it is a gift of God, and I accept it as a gift of God. I am made just uh, through him. The 20th, uh, 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 the 17th verse, by the faith of Christ, not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ a minister of sin? God forbid. If we, while we are confessing to be just or found sinners, therefore, Christ, uh, therefore is Christ a minister of sin? Shall I live in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How can we that are freed from sin Live any longer therein. Whatever it is that binds you, whatever it is that causes you to fear, whatever it is that causes you to fail, you can overcome it. You can put it under your feet. Listen to what it said. If I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I through the law am dead to the law. That I might live under God. I through the law am dead under the law. That I might live under God. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Genesis 3.15, the seed of the woman is going to bruise the serpent's head. When Christ was hung on the cross, when they hanging there on the cross, he took my sins and hung them there with it. Glory to God. I am looking through a finished work. I'm not looking for a work. I am looking through faith to a finished work. 